Jesus, thank you for the persons who remind us of you. From time to time, the scriptures will speak of angels God sends to help us. Some of us may not always recognize them or even want to admit that they are there, and yet we can all point to someone who we can look to for help and inspiration in times of doubt and despair. The Old Testament reading today describes such person in what is for me one of the most inspirational stories of the Old Testament. The story of Ruth, a daughter-in-law who refused to abandon her mother-in-law, Naomi. And as we heard, Naomi's husband and her two sons died and Naomi urged her daughter-in-law to begin a new life and go back to her native country. But Naomi, Ruth said to Naomi, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you, for wherever you go, I will go. I shall, and wherever you live, I shall live. I shall be with you, your people will be my people, and your God, my God too. How blessed we are to be surrounded by friends and relatives who God puts in our paths, angels who support us in times of despair and doubt, men and women who have taken to heart the commandment that we heard spoken of in the Gospel reading today, to love our neighbors as ourselves. Who are the Ruths that you and I can point to today? Who are the angels that God sends to us to convey his love and concern? These are questions that hopefully will surface thoughts or memories of persons who were or are angels for us today. A few come to mind for me, but one in particular stands out. And she's very much like Ruth because she's a Jew and she's also a daughter-in-law. My sister has dementia and resides in an assisted living facility. It's her daughter-in-law who looks in on my sister more than several times a week, buys all her clothes, arranges for the rotation of her caregivers, but no longer remembers, my sister no longer remembers who she is. And my sister will ask the woman helping her, who are you? And the response is always, your favorite daughter-in-law. And my sister laughs, <laughs> for her daughter-in-law reminds me very much of Ruth, who we heard spoken of in the scriptures today. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for the angels that you send us, who constantly remind us of you. And may we remember them and our family today as we gather for prayer and express a gratitude for those who come to mind, who, for us like them, are Ruth.